Welcome to video number 17 SQL reporting service in this video we are going to look at the parameter based reports alright and uh, so in the last tutorial what we saw was like you can choose your any of the product name and based on which it gives you a data right so that was pretty cool but now your boss comes back to you again and he tells you alright uh, this is not working out the customers are more demanding instead of selecting one product they want to select a multiple products and they want to get the data out so is there anything you can do so you say alright so what you do is you need to make again few tweaks in order to do this so what you can do is <coughs> We're going to delete the product ID. We're going to get back to the query editor. We're gonna look into the section and we'll be like this. We're going to remove the where statement and we're gonna execute everything. So you'll get every all the records, right? Then we come here and then we add a parameter. We call this parameter as product ID, right? <coughs> and uh, the prompt will say is please choose your products that's what we say and behind the scene we know it's an integer we allow multiple values for available value we get the value from the query so we have a data set called as data set product value is going to be a product ID and the label field is going to be the product name hit OK and once you preview this so you can see the you know I mean <clears throat> you can see the stuff but when you select and you fire the report you won't be able to see uh, you know much alright so <clears throat> what I will do is I'll get back to the design and then I'll say right click the table X properties I'll get down to the filters I'll add a filter and I'll say that expression before doing that I'll choose this guy as an integer and then I'll say uh, an expression I want to filter out you know based on the product IDs and what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna use in and then I'm gonna say uh, the parameter is product ID I'm gonna remove the this and I'm gonna say ok and ok let's preview this and we're going to select shy and we're going to view the report so you can see we got like something 38 records and along with shy we're going to select chang and we're going to say view report so now you can see last time we had one page now we had three pages if you come back you can see the records of chang as well if you want to choose alice Martin, you can choose that as well and you can see the records are popping out so this is how <coughs> you select the multiple records if you want to select all go ahead select all so in the end you'll get like two one one how many were there something something records you'll get around so I'll repeat again the basic technique is to keep your query clean okay <coughs> no way clause around here or sometimes it happens because you know when I was doing the same thing it was kind of working then the next thing you create a parameter manually you name the parameter you <coughs> prompt give it a prompt you choose the data type and please remember to mark this option as true if you don't mark this option as true then you won't be getting uh, you know the check boxes next thing you need to available uh, I mean you need to fill down your available values for this it is a custom at your end so you can do it all right next thing you need to select a table X I mean you need to choose a table the moment you see the gray selection is done it means your table X is selected then you choose the table X properties then you go get down to the filters and in filters I have added a filter I want to filter out all these records based on the product ID <coughs> based on the product ID which I have right now and I'm gonna I'm giving you an option called as in and I'm setting up an expression which says my parameters will be product ID dot value okay and so basically what is happening is when you say okay and when you go for preview basically behind the scene you have all the records but against all those records when you query through these two guys you can see what you have chosen 
right so Ching I'm sorry not Ching there's Chai and Chang Chang is on the next page so I hope this video gives you an idea like how can you create a multiple uh, parameter based reports out I can say a multiple selections alright so I hope you like this video and if you like this video or if video this video helps you in some way then please uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching good night and take care